hello, good morning everybody. It is uh, July 10th. Welcome to my drawing stream. My name is Hexma. Thank you for joining me wherever and whenever you are, whether it's morning, day or night. Whether you're on the continental sh uh, shelf of Japan or you're right here uh, on the east coast of the Americas, welcome. We're going to do some life and gesture drawing today. We're going to start with a couple of two minute poses. Um, that timeline is about as concise as it gets. Gives you a rough idea on the, the amount of poses we're doing. And uh, that should be it. We'll just do a couple of warm ups. Uh, we'll go into some 10 minute sessions, 20 minute, and then we'll end with a final uh, long form study. 30 minutes. 30 minutes is quite a bit of time for one pose, but it should let you kind of um, experiment with uh, brush strokes and line weight, color, shape, form, all that good stuff. Okay. Wow, what happened there? Okay, let's begin, folks. Let's do some drawing. I encourage you, draw with me here. Don't just watch, draw along. That's the point of the stream. Okay. And we will. Ah, there we go, our first pose of the day. Two minutes on the clock. Grab your pen, your paper, whatever your weapon of choice is. I'm going to zoom in a bit here. Oh, Photoshop, what are you doing to me? There we go. Zoom. Ah, there we go. Okay. Let's do this. Two minutes on the clock has just begun now. There we go. Two minutes has started. These are just warm ups. I, I go into the stream um, quite cold myself. So I'm not. Uh, zoom in just a bit more if folks can see at home. I'm not in a race here to finish the pose or anything. I'm just trying to get uh, warmed up. Let's see how it goes. There are no rules here. You don't have to finish the entire pose. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of taking my time here. I'm just enjoying the head. I'm not trying to get the gesture. But it uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen. Go. I'm just gonna turn up the music on my hand. Okay, the arm should be more like that. 20 seconds, folks. 20 seconds. I do feel a little stiff coming into this. Well, two seconds. There we go. Let's pose. Oh, gorgeous pose. Gorgeous pose. Get this. Mm hmm. Usually want to start with the head, I guess. But, uh, um... Interesting that this is really throwing me off here. Thank you. 
30 seconds. Not bad today. Kind of feeling a bit of a flow. Maybe there. I kind of messed that up a bit. Ooh, that was... Gonna bring the mic closer to me so you can hear me. That was a little... A bit angry. Okay, kind of had it here with a bit of a... Okay, let's continue. Another tricky pose. Another tricky pose here. I always say start with the head. Try and get that, that dimensionality of the head. Even though it's tricky here. that up. There. Just experimenting with some line flow here. Nothing crazy. Kind of see how he's coming together here. Mm -hmm. Five seconds, not a lot of time, eh? folks. Tricky here. See my canvas. Treating this like a 10 minute pose when in fact it's not even close, so. Sometimes I just need to bring myself back down to earth. slowly. Okay, the last two minute pose. Sorry, I'll catch up with you folks in a minute. Get a little rough 
gesture here. slowly come together but a little slow the dice today aren't I okay our first 10 minute pose of the day let's do this let's take it easy and see how far we can get here with this pose I'm gonna try and keep things on canvas tricky with the skull because I didn't start there I probably should have started there that's okay I don't know if I'll get the facial expression in such a short time but we'll try anyway so far things are looking pretty good there was the muscle form there brush seems to be very light today okay so I'm just gonna fix this a bit bring it in a bit tilt it a bit that's kind of where I messed up Rusty today, that's okay. A little rusty. Go. There we have our face. The center, the center of it is terrible. Oh. Curving almost like this. If that makes sense. Seems about right. Okay. 
I think it needs to be a little more stout. So let's let's see, let's bring it down just a tad and bring it out just a there we go. Okay, enough of the face. Let's do the body here. This is gonna be tricky. long sessions is the you get to kind of see the evolution of your own drawing right what did I do wrong brush sensitivity is so I'm really slowly first it was a struggle but now I'm slowly in love with my wake on tablet because it's really showing its true colors about a year into it now where i'm really just learning about pen pressure taking me a year but uh no doubt no doubt it's coming together finally that good yeah i think that's okay right Decent in two minutes. She doesn't feel as um maybe just because it's a pencil outline here. Doesn't feel as muscular as I want her to, and I could probably just figure that out pretty quick. Just add some muscle stroke there and see if hopefully it helps. I don't know. I could be just talking out of my ass here. There we go. I think what it could be is this leg. The elongation of the leg reduces the muscle weight of the upper body. That makes sense. I think so. Kinda there. She was looking a little too um, long and slim. Nobody tells you in art school really about the dynamics of that, like sensory stuff, right? Like they just say draw it out, but really you kind of have to learn to just on your own on what mistakes you're making and how to address them. Well, I shouldn't say that because maybe that's what exactly what art school is for. It kind of tells you, I love an art teacher kind of telling you where it is. But remember, like, uh, angles and lines and color, and it's all very subjective, so you're kind of at the whim of... whim of the professor. Okay, folks, I think we got it. I think I've, I've messed up a couple of places. We're going to fix it. I got two minutes to kind of... add a little bit of line weight. That thigh needs to be almost up to the belly button. What is that? Right there. Wow. Okay, so that's very wrong. Very wrong. I wonder what I'm doing wrong here. Kind of connects there. more subtle line than we want to admit there is something funky going on and I'm gonna figure it out just when you think you finished here we are here we are trying to figure it out I think it's just 
It's just the dynamic of that knee connecting in. Gotcha. Thigh, thigh to calf. What are we at? We're at a minute. We got a minute, folks. Do what you gotta do. Curve to the foot. Okay, I think that cleaned it up. I know. Nice two minute gesture, clean. I'm feeling a lot of energy like heading that way. And then you kind of got the weight kind of coming down like this. And thus, you have a 10 minute pose. Yet. Okay. Let's keep going. Is this another 10 minutes? Yes, siree, Bob, it is. Let's do this. Much stiffer pose. Be careful with these stiff poses. They kind of trick you to thinking it's easy, but it's not. Just looking at that. Really want to get that arm muscle in. There we go. So obviously this needs to come down a bit more. Now he's tilted straight, so I'm trying to make the uh yeah, kind of fit that. We'll leave that as is. Why am I doing the nose? I don't even know. I think it's just gonna, it's just gonna help me here. Just trying with the rendering. Go. We'll come back to it, but what I'm trying to figure out is just align the hands, his hands that crunched up hands with his face. Go. I think we're in, we're in good shape here. Then this one is lower. It almost comes down to the bone like that. Oh. Now we got the upper hands, the upper body part. This seems a little stiff. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. I kind of messed that up, didn't I?
bicep, tricep thing is really, oof, getting to me. One of my favorite models, just the muscle study alone is gorgeous. You could spend an hour just studying all the muscles and everything. Really, abdomen. Okay. The thing is, he's getting very blocky and I'm kind of losing my line flow here. I'm trying to capture all the muscles and everything. He's losing his, um, how do I say, organic shape to it. Let's see what we can do to fix that. So many lines and curves and so much going on with these legs. Quite the study. There we go. Funny how stiff it is at the top half and uh, how flowy it is in the bottom half. That does make things interesting. Okay, well, let's see what's going on here with this audio. Still here, keep drawing, and I'll figure out what's going on with the music while we do this. Ooh. Does feel off. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna work on the head if we have to.
Oh, sorry about that. Folks got carried away there. More like that, I think. If my memory serves me right. Okay. The head definitely needs to be bigger. Back to the old same mistake six. Okay, let's do this. This is a 20 minute pose. Much harder study. Let's uh, see what we can do here. Centered right.
you're hanging in there with me and I've been quiet, it's probably because I'm... In terms of the, uh, in the focus department, I'm kind of a um, full Mad Max here. Center, I keep messing up. I did shrink it down now, so I know that right off the bat is going to throw me off. I'm just going to separate, create a separation here between the abdomen area and whatever this area. And kind of the back into the... I guess that head shape is interesting I'll be first to admit go. I'm just trying to get the angle of there I think that's our that's our skull. Mustache. Got the head shape down. Just uh, trying to get the wrist down there. Try to fix that. Doing everything backwards today. See if I can fix that.
here we go. Just slowly building up on the layers. When the arm was kind of stretched out like that, it kind of kind of threw my confidence off a bit, so I'm just recouping that. There we go. Something about, I think I've said this many times, about when the arms or the legs are stretched out, it kind of kind of throws you off a bit, right? The, um... I can feel he's missing his... Definitely missing some muscularity to him. I think... He just kind of needs to be folded in a bit there. minutes left and I'm just uh, I'm just doing some damage control here I definitely know the legs are smaller they should be so we're gonna fix that shouldn't be too hard Just so much muscle study here. It's gonna be tricky to um, really nail it down.
just so much muscle information you're kind of kind of just make some random decisions on what you want to include or not because we don't have time to do a full you know full study here darker maybe like that We got 50 seconds left, so kind of executive decisions have to be made. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Expose. I'm just gonna resize this for our Discord and YouTube viewers so they can see where are we at. 30 seconds. Let's do this. Let's pose. Sorry, I should have. My apologies. I should have shut the mic off there before I took a sip of coffee. Might have gone way, way, way too large with this skull. Let's see if we can we'll adjust it as we go. get like a directional of the skull. I'm kind of in good shape there. I'll be happy with the rest of the body. It's also going to help me keep everything on canvas. Clavicle muscle. Where is her center? It kind of comes like this and then twists like that. So let's see if we can maintain that center. Her center of gravity. This is not going to be easy. I'll tell you right now. I think I might have got a little too wide with that shoulder. A little too wicked and wild with that shoulder. kind of protruding arms and whatnot kind of give me a throw me off off balancer try that again try that again okay I'm stick with that Such an awkward pose, man. It's really, really throwing me for a turn here. Collar 
bone. I'm gonna have to build her up. Slowly, very slowly. All starts with the face. If I get the face wrong, everything else kind of blows up. Centering the canvas, we can fix that, kind of, maybe. That abdomen is kind of crunched in, and then, and then kind of, man, tough pose. I know I say that for every pose, but this one really is a tough pose. here there we go I'm trying to not do too many hard lines yet but uh you can tell you can almost feel when you're doing the line work the frustration in your strokes right the harder the lines the more chaotic there it's kind of kind of telling yourself oh, oh hang on here now you're going way too way too Slow down. You're stressed out. There's the knee. And then we have the inner thigh. Slowly coming together. And that leg is so awkward and shaped. Look at the shape of that leg. Ooh, that was tough. We 
just hit the halfway mark. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Don't give up. We've got quite a few poses after this to go, so. Let's see if we can clean some of this up. I'm scared. To, I'm scared of the face. I just don't want to touch it. Because I know it's going to be a disaster. I think her bust is a little too big. The upper pelvis. Slight uh, modification there. Okay, that's it. Let's, let's figure this leg bone out. EKG remote needs charging. Hopefully it'll last for the session. Let's see. So many devices, so many things to keep track of. Crazy. Just not happy with that. That calf must always get me. More like that. I say never give up on those little okay line work is done folks what should we do you want to do a little shading let's do a little shading let's do some cleanup and then we'll do some shading the kind of the line flow is kind of like this is how it was followed up and then kind of like this. A little bit, um, about 20 minutes. Good God, I should be writing way better than that. I'm an artist. Flow, like that, like that. And then if you want, with the smaller leg, I kind of was like that. Kind of teaching myself the line flow here. Look at that. The kind of like that. You see it? Okay, I don't know why I spent that much time doing that, but uh, let's get that other arm. I knew I forgot something. It was her arm. This is gonna be tricky. How are we going to do this? We have a thumb. And kind of the nails. It's lower than I expected. I don't want to spend too much detail on the hands. And embarrass myself on a stream. Is. That hair is lovely, isn't it? 
Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff. This is just too much information. It's distracting. Maybe I'll do it here, just so people at home can kind of see how I envision the flow. We got five minutes left. I'm just gonna make that a little sharper. It needs to be it needs to be sharper.
Okay, folks, last 10 seconds. Sorry, I got carried away. I was trying to slowly make my way to the um, facial details, but I don't think I'm going to get that in time. Anyways, look at that. Oh, okay. Same model. Okay. This should be interesting. Let's do this. This one should be a little, uh, little, little harder, I think. A little harder. I'm just going to clean this up. I didn't do any shading work. Kind of disappointed. I do, I do like the flow I got with this pose, though. I really do. Okay. Let's do this. Ten. We're on the second last pose. That was nine. And then this was eight, I believe. A little bit of shading in eight. First 20 minute pose. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see if I can work with some broader shapes here. And then hopefully it'll help me out here. fun already.
just, uh, I'm just chilling here and drawing, but, uh, I'm really trying to capture that, that leg. It's gonna be, it's gonna be easy. I always struggle with these calf muscles. Let's see if that helps. I think that's it. Also, this pose is um, technically, it is technically um, horizontal on a vertical canvas though. Not coming out like I want it to, but it is what it is. It is a 20 minute pose, so I think I might have time to justify some details with the fingers and toes. So let's see how it goes.
be stubborn. I should zoom in, but I'm not zooming in. I'm trying to I'm trying to treat this canvas like a like you would like a sketch pad. Where are we at? We got five minutes. This was an intense pose, no doubt about it. Um, not your run of the mill pose you definitely see in gesture drawing. But I guess that's the point, right? Just to push yourselves, even with the unfamiliar. I think I'm gonna do a bit of shading. Um, I'm just gonna figure this out first though, because that leg needs to match. So we're gonna fix that. Fix that somewhere at the same plane almost. Yep. There we go. Sometimes it's just a matter of just taking a seat back. Maybe then stepping out of uh out of your chair, going to the back of the room, and just kind of kind of seeing what uh, what you did wrong. What needs adjustment? I'm definitely not happy with the face, but because this is not a gesture, uh, not a portrait drawing, I'm not going to spend too much time there. And these gestures, you're not, you can't, I don't think you can even capture the face. You're just capturing a minimalist form of the face. That makes sense. Anyways. No matter how much I do at this point, unless I zoom in and really start chipping away at it, nothing's gonna happen. So let's do this. A little bit of shading, we got three minutes. Sorry, looks like the music got cut out again. I have to fix that. There we go. My uh, D drive is kind of doing whatever it wants to do at this point. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight it. I should have probably drawn some uh, details with that neck and collarbone. Time to do that either. seconds let's wrap this up do what you gotta do this was an interesting pose nevertheless let's continue next pose last pose discord pose of the day OK, 
Okay, here we go. The final post of the day. We are at the bottom of the two hour session. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Let's draw, folks. Let's draw. We got 30 minutes, lots of time. Hopefully, we can get some shading in. If you're at home and you're using color, that works too. Let's do this. I'm gonna have a little sip of coffee, stretch my fingers out a bit, and then I'll officially catch up with you folks. I'm gonna be a little more loose. I'm gonna allow myself to make a couple of more mistakes, I suppose. And we'll see where it takes me.
she's coming together, but the way I'm kind of assembling her is very choppy. I should be using longer lines here. Blow I'm kind of playing connect the dots. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's take this and see where it goes. I might change it up, but the bottom is obviously going to look different than the top because I've kind of kind of changed the flow. Do longer strokes here. Legs just look better with a couple of simple strokes. You don't have to be too fancy. Okay, that was a good line, but it was just wrong. I'll try that again. Depends how realistic you want to get to, right? Not all, not all artists kind of follow that rule. They kind of minimalize the some of the line work because it's just too much of a too much of a pain to kind of sit and do it all. See, I knew, I knew this needed work. More like there. I'm trying to get that little crate accurately. This is a, she is quite a tall model, so it kind of forces me to kind of elongate things when I really don't want to. We're not even at the halfway mark yet. This is beautiful. I'm going to have lots of time for this pose. Lots of time to kind of experiment and learn. Let's see where it takes us. going on with his foot. But ankle, shin, shin, not shin, shin. we go. I think we got her. Kind of. Mm. Great. I'm just gonna draw over the legs. Screw this. I just want to get that crate down. Perspective 101 for the crate. Oh. There's our crate. I forgot the toe kind of comes out of the, the crate there. I think we got her. We got what we needed to do. She's coming off very kind of elongated, but I think she's a tall model, so it kind of works. Um, what am I going to do next? I do want to clean up some of this line work, but I also want to do some shading. We'll figure it out as we go. We got lots of time. Once I kind of commit to the shading, there's kind of no going back, right? Still not happy with that calf muscle. Let's see where it takes. That's as accurate as I'll get it with my hands. Get to some facial details. Just a tad. Just a few. Okay, let's do it. Get to some facial details here. 
kind of holding that braid. Yeah, we got a little bit of a little bit of hand action there. I think I can bring it out with a little shading, nothing crazy. See, I'm not happy with that line mark of the bra strap it's not smooth it's okay I'll try and smooth it out a bit try being the keyword here It's not going to be easy. Especially with the little uh, ponytails there. Very. See how the line work comes? It's coming off quite skittish. Not happy with that at all. Can do here. doing that let's see I don't want to spend too much time here it's not a it's not a portrait drawing session um, it's gonna come down to line weight and I'm just I'm just screwing it up at this point let's see. officially in repair mode Okay, that might work. I don't think that did work. I definitely have to do a lot of zooming in to probably get it exactly how I want it. Uh, and I don't want to spend too much time on it, so we'll leave it at that. And we'll do just a little bit of shading. We have 10 minutes for a little bit of shading. Sorry, I'm a little off canvas here. I'm gonna just 
Let's zoom it out for everybody at home. Of course, I can't do that. And I'm going to zoom it in a bit. Yeah, definitely. It definitely needs some finessing. Where are we at here? Let's see if we can... This light kind of needs to come down a bit more. Like I said, sometimes you just need to take a step back and assess the situation. Why is this brush? Okay, I'm gonna leave it. I, I'm never gonna. We only got 30 minutes. I'm trying not to be too hard on myself. And I want to do a little bit of shading too, so. And leave it like that for everybody at home to see but uh we're gonna go bigger we're gonna go bigger better see this you're drawing along we only got eight minutes left it's not a lot of time but it's enough for me to do a little bit of shading that's a little harsh let's try 500 I'm really in uncharted territory here with how to approach this. Shading always is a process. And uh, I'm kind of learning it block by block, tone by tone. That's rough. Let's try something a little lighter. She is fairly fair skinned, so I didn't want to go too much with a too dark complexion. Otherwise, it wouldn't be that accurate. And it's hard to see at home. I'm really like feathering in the paint here, barely putting it in. And interesting that this song is playing again. Okay. rough coloring here. Okay. This is gonna be tricky. Not for the faint of heart. I think the obvious part is the hair, right? Can't go wrong there with the little complexion. I can already tell where I messed up a bit. It's the belly. The belly needs to be elongated. Yeah. Let's see if we can look at it and leave it for now. It's funny, the longer you stare at it, the more you can kind of pick out all the mistakes.
Okay, folks, we're down to the last two minutes. Thanks for hanging in there with me. It's been a long session. I am honestly exhausted. It's been a while since I've done these. It's been over a week, I think, so I kind of have to get back into the flow of things. We'll say 30 minutes. I'm going to get this up on the Discord server. I encourage everybody else to upload their images on the Discord server. The information is on the link. Interesting that these 30 minute poses don't turn out the way I like them. But the 20 minutes tend to come together more naturally. Okay, interesting. I always like to, um, because I stream in 4K, I can download these images and then superimpose them on top of my um, sketches and kind of compare and see what I did right and what I did wrong. Um, there is that. And you kind of improve from that. One day at a time, as they say. Okay. 20 seconds. I should just stop drawing at this point. But I'm not going to. Okay, there we go. Okay, everybody, thanks for hanging in there. It is 10 past 12 here. We've been drawing for two hours. Um, always check the schedule if you want to draw live with me. Uh, otherwise, you can watch at your own convenience. It does stay on Twitch for about a month, and then uh, I do archive it on YouTube. And there it sits indefinitely. Okay, uh, thanks for watching once again, everybody. Have a great week i believe it's a wednesday yes it is have a great week i'll be back uh friday morning hopefully you can join me <laughs>